Now here's the third composition and one of my favorites. It's called Meandering or the H composition. So it's really just elements broken up and they join together to create that shape. Now keep in mind that you know how I'm always focusing on the focal point? Well where the two diagonal lines meet or diagonal elements, they're not really lines because they're all broken up, uh, then you get that focal point area. Automatis Paul Emile Baudouin did an amazing amount of these paintings. He loved this meandering composition. And see how the elements of very dark darks are set against lighter areas and they meander. But there's one area that's more interesting or bolder. Here he has one large shape in a very sparse environment, I guess is the right word for this. And this creates the focal point. Jean-Paul Riopel, he did similar things. He used a spatula and created very thick paint and it's very interesting. But if you squint at this, the lighter areas create that H composition or the meandering. It's all set against a very bright background. Now this is a more figurative example by Henri Matisse. But you can see how the elements create that H or meandering composition. So you have the figure at the bottom and then the bird at the top and the two create that very same composition, that H or meandering. Picasso did the same thing. Here the H composition is not diagonal, it's vertical. So you have two vertical elements with one element that crosses uh, in the center area, creating that H. Now here's your assignment. Pick one of the compositions mentioned and start a painting. No preference is given to the medium. You can use any medium you like. A pastel, watercolor, acrylic, oil, pencil crayon if you want. For this section, limit yourself to three colors and black and white. Remember, you are allowed to mix these colors. And plan ahead, but at the same time, remember to go with the flow if something interesting happens. So do this assignment now, and we'll see you in the next section for three more compositions.